Hey everybody. All right, I wasted a good hour trying to get fancy on the handrail. I was gonna try to, I'm using scrap wood and leftover pieces of two by four. So I was trying to get really neat and fancy and uh, I ended up just wasting time. Um, I wanted to build corner posts and stuff, but it's all scrap wood, everything's wet. It's been raining out there and everything's wet. So I ended up just going with a simple two two by fours with, uh, I don't know if that's in the view. Let me see, turning lens on myself here. So yeah, you can see that, right? So just two two by fours as a handrail with the, uh, what do you call these spindles in the middle? All right, and that's it. Very simple. I'm not going to get too complicated now. Let's see, I've got to have something to lean that on. How thick is that? Thin? Too thick. Now, oh, whatever. So, not going to go wild. I was going to have really neat corner posts and have everything really fancy and neat and precise, but it just isn't working. It's too complicated to try to make it happen, so I'm just going to put this together. Okay, now, that, yes, so the two ends are the easy spots because they're just the ends, they just go on the ends, they're the easy ones. This will help me make it square by lining that up now that I think of it. Uh, somewhat. That looks not square. to do ooh, that didn't line up right something's wrong that one's crooked what I'm gonna do that's yeah, not cool at all it is awkward because I don't have the proper spindles nothing's pre-drilled and neat and perfect and I don't have the proper guys to make everything look good I'm gonna go eight inches per I'm gonna go um, like a modified 16 on center. I want to go eight, every eight inches. But, let me see how that looks. Yeah, that'll work out. Keeping the spacing right all the way across. And then there's a little space by the wall. That'll be okay. That's going to work all right. I've never made a stairwell or a spindle or anything else before, so this is all experimentation for me. And if you hear the birds in the background, what you're hearing is they're getting their wings. They're learning to fly. And they're disturbing each other. There's that. Now the idea is to put on the top piece. Alright. I should have put the same uh, thing on there to line it up. See what I did here? I put a piece of 1x2 on there so I could line it up neatly. And uh, I don't have it all too crooked in here. I think that's okay. It's going to be strong. It's going to be stronger than I expected, to be honest. I did not think it would be. 
Now I think what I should do is just get a piece of one by two. Yeah, I'm gonna go out and get a piece of one by two and lay it under there. And that'll be my guide. Yep, I'll be back. So there is my first piece of handrail. Gives you an idea how it looks. I think it looks like a handrail. And I'm just gonna go over here in the corner. You can follow me along as I work here. So you turn around the corner. And then I'll go here up on the wall. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, uh, yeah. Sort of. There you go. Okay. Then I'll go over here. Actually, I might as well just screw it right on. I'm going to have to cut the canvas here. To adjust the canvas for the... Um, oh, perfect. That fits right where I want it. Cut the canvas to fit here. It looks good. Melanie, how's that look from down there? That's pretty. You like it? Yeah. That's the new handrail. Can you really see it very well? Yeah. That's oh, it. Huh? Yeah, so there it is, everybody. I'm going to screw that one in place. Now I've got to go at an angle. Yes. So I'm going to fasten this through to the wall. Now there's a um, wall stud behind here. So that will work if I can get this in there. Yeah. I'm going to put two screws through that way. That'll stop it from swinging on me. bent. Alright, we won't do that right now. We'll do this first. It's unusual that the screw bends on me. So this will be pretty strong. It's got to hold us from falling. It's already pretty strong. I gotta get that screw out of there. Extension. Yeah, I can't reach like that. All right. Well, I also am going to have to tap in. I'm going to have to drill and countersink in this way because I want to secure this at the top, especially, so it doesn't swing. And I've got, I think I'm going to have to pre-drill this because. Trying to get this angle right, the screw wanted to go straight, and my drill caught up in here, and I didn't have the space to drill. But anyway, there we have it for now. And it's pretty rigid. Once I get the top countersunk and in there, that's going to be really, really strong. This thing is not going anywhere. And then I've got the next one I'm going to make here will come out all the way to here and then butt up against this one so that'll be tomorrow because I'm running out of time today and although by the time you see this it'll be too late but this is Melanie's birthday so she doesn't know anything yet but we're gonna do something tonight <laughs> anyway I'll talk to you all later morning everybody Troy from the cold and wet do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Can you see that? 49 degrees 
a 99% humidity. Uh, Melanie's been cleaning up the shelf here. Actually, the whole place. We haven't seen the sun in days. It's raining, raining, raining. I gotta get that couch out of there if we ever get a sunny day again. And uh, so it's perfect time for tiny house construction. And as you can see, it is a construction zone, but uh, it's looking really good. Melanie and I both agree, I don't know how it looks on camera, but the tiny house actually looks bigger with that addition. It's quite surprising. I um, did not expect that, but it looks bigger. It really looks nice in here. We both are very happy, and uh, we both think that the house just looks bigger. So the rocking chair is going to go upstairs where we always dreamed of having it right in front of the big window because now we'll have space here uh, we set up a coffee table here last night just trying things out and laid back in the bed and watched a movie which was fun nice that was uh, part two of Melanie's birthday gift we uh, just had a nice evening in after a dinner out and she got her ice cream which she loves very much and um, so now we're going to have, once the birds are out of here, we'll put the rocking chair here and we can sit here and look out the window and look over our gardens on a wet day like this or a sunny day and have a cup of tea or winter when it's snowing out. So it looks really nice. Baby cat's exploring the place, checking out the changes, new places to play and run and jump and risk her life, which makes cats very happy. Felix is enjoying the coffee table. So, uh, we gotta go get some water at the neighbor's place and check out some small engine stuff he's got. And then when we get back, I've gotta figure out how to make a post, because nobody sells a small chunk of 4x4 uh, lumber, and 4x4s are not 4x4. They're 35 by 35 and I was hoping to have the post be a little bit larger than the um, handrail for appearance sake so I might have to build something anyway out of scrap wood so I'll be out in the wood shop for a while when we get back from getting water and checking the engines and um, we'll see what I can come up with in the meantime as I ramble you get to have a little sideshow and two cats are good friends, really good friends. And baby growls a lot and makes a lot of noise, but that's how she is. She just makes noise for sound effects while they play. All right, well, we got to get to it. So, see you guys in a little bit.